Yo, what up? Three thoughts. This is Eric Kim. All right, uh, Turbo Thought on uh, how to increase your cloud and why does this uh, matter? So, some uh, some thoughts. Um, so, the first thought is. What does uh, clout mean? So I went on Wiktionary.org and looked up clout and I guess the origin actually means to, to ball up to a mass and nowadays I think um, the word uh, clout is essentially synonymous with like, you know, kind of power, notoriety, fame, uh, influence and uh, you know, there's a a fun, uh, I don't know, is it a Migos song? But a uh, fun clout uh, music video. Just uh, search it up on YouTube, anyways. So, you know, there's people who are like apparently cool, cool clout chasers, which is essentially just like prostituting yourself for more followers, likes, and stuff like that. But, anyways, so. You know, I'm just gonna talk some uh, ideas about how to uh, how to increase your clout, just in general. You know, with your photography, etc. So first and foremost, um, it's funny, like you know, when I you know teach workshops or you know meet people in person who know who I am and stuff like that. The first thing they actually tell me is, "Oh, I love your inst." Um, I love your YouTube channel or I love your videos, right? And apparently there are actually studies and you know just kind of common sense dictates that we trust faces, human voices more so than you know just uh, text alone. Um, and actually the funny thing is you know through my travels and stuff like that I've actually even had people recognize me purely on my voice alone which is pretty hilarious because I think I have a quite a generic uh, Asian voice, right? I, I don't think that my my voice is uh, too unique or whatever. And so, so I think actually. Uh, the first thought is, uh, you know, start a start a YouTube channel seems like a, a good idea. So you know, just if you have a Google account and you essentially already have a YouTube channel, just go to YouTube.com/upload and you can start uploading videos uh, immediately. You could just even use the YouTube app on your phone, iPhone, Android, and just record videos directly from your um, iPhone. I'm currently recording this on um, GoPro Hero 10, the ultra wide mode, 1080p, 24 fps, and actually, I think. Uh, I actually think that getting a GoPro for YouTube or videos or vlogs is actually best. Um, way better than iPhone, iPhone Pro, uh, Micro Four Thirds, etc. Because it's so small, it's compact. Also, one thing that I do is when I'm vlogging, um, I actually turn off and disable the the lights and also the front-facing LCD screen. So I'm actually able to speak better and think better and you know stream my ideas better. Um, then you know having all these uh, superfluous equipments and ultimately the smaller the device the more robust it is uh, the more you're gonna probably use it also a big benefit of using a GoPro is you know now that uh, my son Seneca is about one year seven months old he loves it he loves to shoot videos with it he loves to throw it around and stuff like that uh, I find the GoPro is actually very very underrated I think everyone should get one but anyways so, um, so that seems like a good idea. Um, also start your own blog, your own open source wordpress.org blog. Uh, just use bluehost.com, install wordpress.org. And the biggest tip I have is when you're making a URL or a domain name, um, best to just use your first and last name.com. If not first and last name photo.com, uh, use .com, don't use those other strange you know, suffixes because dot uh, com is essentially, essentially it's the standard and everyone sees it as legit and it's the easiest to remember. Um, 
And the reason why to use your first and last name is that it's probably your most valuable asset. And it's probably something that's not gonna change in your lifetime. Whereas if you do, you know, you make your website like, you know, darkdreamyimages.com or something cheesy like that, it's, uh, it's not really gonna last. Um, and also I think The thing that's actually important to uh, note is, you know, it's funny because I actually started my YouTube channel before even YouTube had ads and stuff like that. I just, it was just like a fun place for me to throw my, my videos. Uh, big tip is don't try to monetize your, your videos. It's more important to get clout than money. And also it's just kind of nice too because like, there's a period of time I think a lot of YouTubers were being uh, punished uh, by the algorithm. And then, you know, their subscriber, penetration or viewability went down. For me, I, I, I could care less. Like some of my videos just had one or two views because I do YouTube or make videos or vlogs mostly for auto tealic reasons, which auto tealic means doing it for the sake of, auto means self, hellos. Um, and actually I find big benefit. The biggest benefit of vlogging my thoughts is as I'm thinking through an idea, as I'm as, uh, speaking through an idea, it actually helps me better process that idea and think through it so if i want to do a blog post or a newsletter or write an essay an article later it's uh funner uh and you know i just think it's also just uh plain fun um and actually it's even funny because through my travels i've actually discovered that when you're traveling to tell people that you're a youtuber or a vlogger essentially it's kind of like the one of the greatest forms of uh, current um cultural cultural clout which is hilarious and then everybody watches youtube right like if you look at the the top top you know 10 or 100 websites in the world number one's google and then number two is youtube and then since youtube is owned by google essentially uh it's king right and uh and the funny thing is this is why i'm like anti-instagram anti-instagram and you know snapchat or twitter whatever is that it doesn't matter how old or young you are everyone uses youtube and every single country i've been to uses youtube maybe besides um you know mainland china who uses yuku.com which is their version uh, i think everyone uses youtube and will continue to use youtube into the future and then also even one thing that i've noticed is that Uh, in terms of indexability and findability is a lot of my YouTube videos actually get indexed better than my blog posts. And so sometimes I'll try to Google my old blog posts and I can't find them, but I'll actually find the YouTube video outlining it. And a simple uh, way to think about, it, you know, you make YouTube videos, um, try to write a mini essay or article within the description or text, ideally link it back to your, to your website. Uh, in the beginning of your videos, say your name, where you're from, whatever. Um, and also one, one thing that I think is really important to increase your uh, impact and your clout is start your own self-hosted email newsletter. So um, one of the critical errors that I made early on in my photo entrepreneurial career is I depend everything 100% on Facebook, so I accumulated like, you know, 80,000 plus, 100,000 plus, whatever, uh, likes on Facebook. And now, like, I post something and then 10 people might see it, right? So, the biggest problem about social media is that social media becomes an intermediary and they essentially control the pipelines and they could essentially control how much to open or close the valve. Now, depending on how much uh, money you use to quote, quote, boost the, the post. Um, and it's not evil or anything. It's just, it's just how these companies make money. And it's, uh, that's, a, that's a fact. Um, and so having your own self-hosted newsletter, and also the reason why I'm kind of like, I had MailChimp and I got off of it is A, MailChimp.com. I mean, it's easy to set up, but it's, it's A, it's too expensive um, and B, 
it to set up and send an email, it's really slow with MailChimp because there's so many steps. You try to add too many images and stuff. Um, I've actually found the easiest workflow for me personally with uh, email newsletters. I use iWriter, uh, the app on my iPhone or my iPad or my laptop. And I write it down in um, plain text markdown. And then I copy and paste the HTML. And then, um, so the email, self-hosted email uh, I use now is sendy.co. And setting it up is a huge pain in the ass, but the reward is like at least a thousand X. So I, I think it's totally worth it. Um, you have more control, you have a, uh, it's, and it's, I think it sends it through the Amazon SES, the email service. So it's, it's, it's legit as well. Um, and yeah, now just copy and paste the HTML and then I'll attach like a PDF and sometimes I'll export the, um, the newsletter itself into a, a PDF. So, cause you know, some people like to download the PDF and just read it later. Um, and just the reason I also like plain text is that A, plain text, you know, HTML, whatever, it loads way faster. And also, like this thing, right? Like you get a, you get a fancy email newsletter from some company, whatever, right? You know, all the images and stuff. But then when you get an email from your friend, you're checking your Gmail or whatever, it's just all plain text, right? And then maybe at most they might attach an image, right? Um, and so I've actually found that it feels more uh, personable. Um, and yeah, and as much as I hate email as a form of correspondence,